Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be talking about the book The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. Um, I read his first book, The Silent Patient, and I did really enjoy it. It was recommended to me um, and I really, really liked it. It's a fast paced read, very psychological, has a really crazy twist at the end. Um, so I did, I did enjoy that book. So I was definitely excited that he has a new book that's come out. Um, so far, it has gotten pretty mixed reviews, I've noticed. Um, some people do really enjoy it and other people not so much. So um, I'll get into that, but first I'll just talk a little bit about the book itself um, and my opinions on it. So The Maidens is about a woman named Mariana. She is haunted by a lot of terrible things that have happened in her life. Um, she lost her father at a pretty young age. Um, she never even really knew her mother. And then um, she most recently tragically lost her, her husband, um, Sebastian. And so she is a therapist. So she's de used to dealing with the weight of other people's emotional issues. And she's kind of um, keeping a lot of pain and um, grief inside of her and not really sharing what she's experiencing. Um, but she's going through a really hard time at the beginning of this novel. She gets a call from her niece, Zoe, who she basically acts as an adoptive mother to because she also lost her sister, Zoe's mom. So she's very protective of Zoe, very close to her. She gets a call from her that a body has been found um, at her university, which is Cambridge University in England. Um, that's Mariana's school that she went to as well, where she met her husband, Sebastian. So she gets a call that a body has been found and Zoe suspects that it might be her good friend, Tara. Um, we find out that it is Tara. Um, we find that out pretty early on. And so Mariana comes to the school to sort of support Zoe and help her through this really scary time. Um, and while she's there, she gets more and more close to the investigation and she starts getting kind of invested in who the murderer is. And she has her suspicions when it comes to a professor named Edward Foschka. Oscar, um, who is a Greeks, a Greek like classics professor, and he has a creepy cult-like group of followers called the Maidens, who all happen to be beautiful young women who are also his alibi for the murders. So kind of a long-winded explanation, um, but I, I want to kind of lay everything out. That is the premise that we're working with. It's a murder mystery, and it gets more and more scary as it goes on. You know, more people start showing up dead. Um, Mariana runs into more suspicious figures and there's a lot of possible suspects floating around. So that is the plot of the novel. Um, and now I'll get into what I liked and what I didn't like as much about it. Okay, so I'll start out with what I enjoy about this novel. And there's a lot that I really liked about it. Um, this novel is very readable. It's very fast paced. Um, the chapters are short, so it means that you're just going to breeze through a chapter and then you turn on to the next one. There's nothing like intimidating or overwhelming about this book. It's very readable. It's broken down into short chapters that make it move really quickly. Um, it's also, you know, it's very clear the background of what Mariana is dealing with and um, all the different characters are very well explained. So usually, sometimes in books like this, especially murder mysteries where there's different characters popping up all the time, it can be a little bit confusing. Um, I found this book to be very clear, very readable. Um, despite how complex the plot is, it's very easy to follow. Um, so I love that about it. Um, the writing is really beautiful. I do think that um, Alex McMichaelides is just very, very talented as a writer, um, especially when it comes to crafting these kind of creepy atmospheric scenes. Um, there are a couple images that are really powerful. There's one, it's not a spoiler because it's at the beginning, um, but when Mariana's talking about her husband, Sebastian, there's an image of him walking through this um, amazing like Greek temple, and then the uh, storm is coming and it gets really dark all of a sudden, and she sees an image of his silhouette. And that was just very powerful. The way that it's written is, is really beautiful. And so there are a couple images like that that just really stick with you and they help to make it feel really alive. Um, you can really envision everything that's happening. I also really liked his descriptions of the Cambridge campus um, because I think everyone kind of wants to like live vicariously through novels like this. Um, 
you know, being on that campus and, and getting to experience that kind of historic academia vibe. Um, people love that. So he, I think he knows how much people like that whole aesthetic and he really brought it to life and makes you feel like you're there, which is really cool. Um, the characters are also interesting. I liked Mariana. Um, I was interested in her story and you can tell that she's very emotionally wounded and so um, her perspective might be a little bit skewed and I think that adds an interesting dynamic to the novel as well. Um, so the characters are very well written and overall the, the prose and the writing is just really intelligent and um, really well done. As far as things about this book that I didn't like quite as much, um, there aren't too many, but I will say um, this book incorporates psychology. Um, Mariana, as I mentioned, is a therapist, so she has kind of a, she likes to kind of analyze everybody that she's talking to and try to um, project her understanding of psychology onto different um, things that she witnesses. And it is a little bit weak. Um, it's not, it feels like he didn't like fully commit to incorporating like actual psychology into this book. It feels a little bit like just kind of thrown in there. Um, so I do think if you're really into psychology and you know a lot about it, you might be a little bit underwhelmed with how this novel incorporates it. Um, it's not quite as in depth and quite as complex as I think it could have been. Um, it feels very psychology 101, but you know, I personally didn't mind that that much, but I have seen some people complain about that. Um, so maybe something to be aware of. Another thing is the, I think it's it goes along with the psychology too. I would say psychology and then the Greek mythology are both kind of like woven into the story, but it doesn't go super, super deep. So again, if you're reading this book for the Greek mythology and you're a classic scholar and all this stuff, you might be a little bit underwhelmed with the way that it incorporates it. It's kind of like, light psychology and light Greek mythology. So that's maybe something to, to keep in mind. It maybe could have gone further into um, those themes, but it didn't bother me too much. It's just, you know, it's something that I've seen some people um, note about this book. And I, I do kind of agree that it could have gone a little bit deeper into both of those. I will also say that the um, plot twist um, is, I have mixed feelings about it. Um, I don't want to spoil anything or reveal anything, so I won't talk about it too much, but I wasn't completely sold on the ending, and of course the ending is so important, um, and I wasn't really happy with how it ended. It was kind of confusing, um, and I had a lot of questions still remaining. So um, the ending is definitely well written, but it just, I don't know if it was 100% earned, and it did kind of, it left me a little bit unsatisfied. Um, so I will say the first half of this book is a little bit stronger than the second half. The pacing and the momentum and everything is incredible. Um, and then the reveal at the end, I think people have different feelings about it, um, but it's definitely shocking. So I think if, if all else fails, you will be shocked, hopefully. So ultimately, I actually really loved Maidens. Um, I think that it is incredibly well written. It is fun, it is twisty, it is um, atmospheric and engaging. Um, I think that if you liked The Silent Patient, you will probably really like this book. Um, if you're interested in the whole dark academia vibe, um, you will also probably enjoy this book a lot. So I do recommend it. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see what else he writes. He's on kind of a roll right now. Um, and I think that he's a really talented author. So I definitely recommend The Maidens. It's creepy, it's interesting, um, and definitely check it out.